what do we have here, guys? Some from my peoples up at Boston. Can't wait to see them. And here they are, guys. Damn. I like them. I love them. Took about eight weeks to get them built. They're officially here, guys. All mounted up perfectly. Ready to go on, guys. So let's see how they actually look on the car real quick. Because I want to get like a little comparison between the two. How do you like them, man? Yeah. Here in the garage. Got my dad's GTA Trans Am that you've probably seen a few times. Still here and ain't going nowhere. Let's check these out. I'm so excited to get rid of these shitty ass rims, guys. This is the biggest thing that bothered me about this car. Just the wheel gap that it has, as you see right here. It's a big ass wheel gap, just like... Not that really stylish with wheels, especially this chrome or, or this aluminum brush trim around it. Not a fan of it, but that's why these boys officially came in. Oh my god, you might actually see it. Got the new shoes for my baby. Oof. Now that looks fucking fresh, guys. Oh fuck yeah. Just look at the difference between the styling, the size. That's definitely going to complete the actual exterior of the car. All I can pretty much do left is probably wrap it. That's pretty much it. But got the splitter on, ground effects on, got the spoiler as well. And this is complete the car, guys. I'm so excited to put these on tomorrow, guys. God damn. Got some ceramic coating on the way, too. Just get these polished up to make sure these stay nice and protected. Don't get all scratched up. And make sure the brake dust gets dusted off pretty nicely. Hey, we're going to cut into the tomorrow. We're at the shop. I'm going to pull this in here, get these put on, and officially see how she looks. All right, guys, we're officially back in next gen speed. Got the CA Corvette right here with the old wheels. I'm about to get the new ones put on, guys. But as you see, these cars are pretty fresh, actually. Have not done a burnout yet in this car, so. I think we need to head over to the next gen speed pit over here. Do a quick little burnout, maybe a little donut. See what we can do real quick. Have some fun. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, head to the next gen speed pit over here. I'm gonna burn out these rubber real quick. I first burn on this car, this car actually has a burnout mode where you pretty much turn the traction off, hold the paddles in, and pretty much locks up the clutch to be able to dump it and burn the tires out. So, Shin's B team with us right now. Nice little launch control, a little burnout, but does not want to lock the tires for some reason. I gotta figure that out real quick. Oh my god. Damn. standing burnout you're pretty much gonna only do a rolling burnout so i've pretty much seen the chevy guy talk about this before as well i know he was able to actually do it it's kind of annoying but i guess it's pretty cool <laughs> let's get one more going this way Drive the C8, let him try real quick. Hey Bella, hop in real quick. Come here, drive it. Go for a launch, try to burn it out real quick. First time in the C8. Oh, shit. <laughs> and so, so far, I could not burn it out, only like a rolling burnout so far. At least he gets a little launch control with it just to test out the C8. 
Damn, that sounds good. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> Alright, so I had a little fun so far. All we could pretty much do is a rolling burnout so far and do some more. Oh, they guys want to race real quick. <laughs> but yeah, we got a little burnout so far, but put the new wheels on real quick, see how they look. I'm super excited, guys. Let's get it. Traction off. Officially pulling up the next gen speed though. As you guys can see, we got an official brand new shop, guys. So in the past, you guys seen us at a small little shop over in Canton. Officially got some more room, you know, about 500 more square feet to do, do some more installations, stuff like that. Fit more cars in, do some more work. So spend as much as we can, guys. Here's the shop, guys. Got the new backdrop getting painted up by Bella. Looking nice. Get these boys on. Cannot wait to get these little boys off. Oof. Just look at them boys. Got the big old 325 for the back. About to be nice and thick, guys. Also one with the same Pilot Sport 4S tires. Pretty much the best option to get with this car until some more come out. Pretty much, pretty good for what I pretty much do, just daily driving with the car and driving around the street. Don't pretty much do any track strips or any track racing just yet. But once I get there, I'll probably switch it up. So here's a little comparison between the front two. As you can see, old ones are 19 inch, new ones are 20 inch on the front. Look much better, have a much different design than the original. And pretty much, Chevy was slacking on these rims and the wheels for the design on the CAs because you really can't get anything nice for them. I mean, the Trident ones are pretty nice, but nothing compared to what Boston has available. And damn, guys, that changes the whole entire fucking car. <laughs> Hell yeah. So here's the back two, a little comparison between the two. Here are the 20s, old ones. Here are the 21 inch for the new ones, guys. Much bigger and much wider as well. Got the 325s in the back. So big old boy with some wide meat. So I get them put on, almost finished up, guys. But I'm loving it. Fucking loving it, guys. This completes the car so much. Pretty much only thing it was missing, honestly. So wheels are officially on guys, officially installed. Looking nice guys. Look at these boys, nice and beefy. Makes the car look a lot more exotic than it did before. Man, I love that. Wheel gap is still there, which I kind of don't like too much. We'd always lower the car, so it's probably what I'm gonna do next. And then exhaust coming next too. Man, these wheels. Now the only thing we got left to do on this car is pretty much just the wrap and then exhaust next, but. Corsa and Borla just released a new exhaust for this car. Still trying to debate which one I should go with. Corsa is sounding pretty good, but Borla sounds a bit better, I think. But Borla is around like four grand right now for the exhaust on that, so. And the wrap just showed up, guys. It's crazy. Not gonna reveal what it is yet, but we'll get to that soon. All right, guys, in the car right now. I just went for a little cruise so far, and it's pretty smooth. Pretty much, but almost better than OEM, I'd say. No clunking around, you know. Nice and smooth, nice and curved, no rubbing or nothing like that, which is perfect, guys. Can't go wrong with Boston. That's why the quality is there, and that's why the price is so much. <laughs> All right, guys, officially cruised around for a few hours. Wheels feel great, looking great as well. Can't stop looking at them. They just changed the car completely, but loving them so far. They actually feel a little bit weightless as well, so a little bit lighter than stock wheels. 
having no issues with rubbing or turning or nothing like that you know bumps have been good as well and they feel great guys definitely boston are great quality rims as you i see well known you know for the great quality everything like that but guys i'm loving it but if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe for more please let me know in the comments below if you guys know what which exhaust you guys want me to go with next and actually we'll call it a wrap as well too so but stay tuned for next time guys i'll see you